Here's what you can do after joining a meeting. After you join the meeting, you can click on Join with Computer Audio or go to Test Audio first. You can test your microphone and the speaker. You can also select the video settings to test if the video is working well. After you join the meeting, you can also invite other participants to join if the host hasn't locked the meeting. Let's click on the Invite button. You can see several ways to invite your participants. Invite by emails. You can invite people via your default mailbox. Invite by copying invitation info or link. You can directly copy the invitation info or the link and send it to your participants via messaging or whatever way you like. This number shows how many participants joining a meeting. Right next to it is an option to Share Desktop. This allows you to share your screen. If you want to share a presentation, you can click on Share Desktop, find the slide, and open it. For sharing videos, you can do the same. Share Desktop, find the video, and play it. The participants can watch the video and hear the audio as well. When you're sharing a desktop, the toolbar will show at the top in the center. Click on the pin icon and the toolbar will be pinned at the top. Otherwise, it will be hidden unless you move your mouse over it. You can click on the red square button to stop sharing. The next option is Share Whiteboard. You can present your idea effectively by illustration and texts. When sharing whiteboard, you can click on Annotation to allow you and your audience to collaborate with each other. Next is the chatting option. You can decide to chat with everyone or an individual person. Next is the polling button. If the host launches a poll, you can click here to vote and check the polling results. Next is the Move to Room button, which is for the EasyTalks Rooms solution. If you've purchased an EasyTalks video conferencing device, here you can control the device to join a meeting. Next is the More button, where you can check the meeting details, change some settings, ask for live support, or go to the EasyTalks Help Center. And lastly, you can click on this button to end the meeting. Thanks for watching this video. For more information about Easy Talks meetings, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us a comment, or visit our website at www.easytalks.com. See you next time.